Okay, good morning. How is everybody? Sorry for eating in front of you. I just got myself a toasted tomato and bacon sandwich. Welcome to the off-grid uh, solar edition of Independent Off-Grid Retreat. In the last video there, you guys probably seen uh, me trying to top balance my battery. What an epic fail. Uh, yeah, what did I calculate it? Like 67 days or something like that that it was going to take to finish that. I thought about hooking these batteries into two 12 volt cells and connecting them up to my lithium 12 volt battery charger and letting them run their course. But the problem that I had with that is this is a substantial investment for me and not having a BMS on the batteries really bothered me. So what I've decided to do is use my inverter to charge the batteries, but I'm going to hook up the, uh, the DALI 150 amp BMS to the battery. And so I figure, well, now would be a good time to do the uh, DALI BMS video. Stay tuned. If you like the content, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we got lots of cool solar stuff coming, and so we're going to be able to work together and uh, learn some good stuff. And uh, like, uh, this is a total learning phase for me. I've never done this before, so I have an idea what I need to do, and hopefully I do everything correct and don't damage everything, but uh, I guess that'll just be the excitement of what we got to come. So stay tuned, and uh, let me get set up, uh, finish my breakfast, so we can get this uh, food out of the way and get going here. Here we are uh, over at my dining room table, and uh, let's get an unboxing going on the BMS. Uh, it's in a pretty stiff cardboard box. It's a decent, uh, decent size BMS. The box is pretty big. Uh, it's got a nice styrofoam cover here with cutout for the unit. And then uh, here we go with the BMS itself. It's got the BMS, the paper pamphlet for uh, a wiring diagram. Here we go with a uh, Bluetooth dongle. So this unit came with the Bluetooth dongle. And then this is the uh, uh, sense lead for the individual cells. This BMS came with an uh, internal fan. You can get a, a, another one that uh, is a little bit less. It doesn't have the cooling fan. I probably didn't need to get the cooling fan because I don't ever expect to draw close to 150 amps. Uh, my inverter is a 3000 watt inverter. So 3000 divided by 24 is what, like uh, 125 amps or something like that. So a um, little bit oversized on the PMS, but that's good. Like anything you don't, you want to build in some, some, uh, uh, oversizing you don't want to run whatever components you're using at maximum um, of their capabilities it's just hard on them and uh, they'll wear out quicker so it's also got a uh, sense lead little temperature sense lead that's gonna go on to the uh, into the battery pack that's where the uh, sense leads for the t voltage is gonna connect into there and then uh, this uh, unit uh, also has, uh, you could have spoke to the manufacturer and you could have got uh, 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 another communication protocol there. Um, what was it, CAN bus maybe? I think uh, there's different uh, communication pro protocols that uh, different uh, inverters will use and uh, you can connect your inverter to your BMS so they can talk to each other. Uh, I didn't go the route to, to, to get that. When you're looking at the instruction or the to purchase a BMS, you need to choose the correct voltage for your battery pack, which and that's gonna correspond to the voltage of each cell. So my battery pack is 3.2 volts. So 3.2 volts times eight gives me my 24 volts. 
and that's what uh, you need to look for is an 8s 24 volt bms now they make them 4s for 12 volt batteries they make them 16s for 48 batteries these systems are really good they're going to give you the ability to protect your battery for over voltage under voltage over temperature i don't believe this one uh, senses under temperature off of the bms it's got leads so you connect the wire from your well it might be best to be able to look at that from the picture so don't look at this picture this is not the kind that i have i do not have a uh, charge port on the bms you connect your charger for this one onto the leads for the battery so you've got uh, your motor load so the positive goes directly over onto your battery bank and then your negative from your load or your inverter in my case goes to the p plus which is this black cable here and then it goes through the bms over to the b minus which is this and then this b minus wire here is what's going to go over and connect onto the main negative of my battery Oddly enough, I ordered this BMS at the same time that I ordered my batteries at the end of November. And my BMS was here before New Year's. So another big foam padding on the bottom. Um, they packed it up good. It seems to be good. So let's bring this over to the living room workbench away from the dining room workbench and uh, start getting this sense cable ready to connect onto the battery. Okay, guys, so I've already gone ahead. I've connected my battery pack into series. I've connected my sense leads, but I haven't connected it onto the BMS. Before I connect anything else to the BMS, it's very important that I check the wire configuration on these, on this sense lead terminal jack with my, scent, my uh, tester. Between the first two, you should have 3.2 volts. Between the first one and the third one, you should have uh, 6.4 volts, and then Every two terminals that you, between that you measure, first one, the second, the first one, the third, the first one, the fourth, every time you move over one, your voltage should increase by 3.2 volts. That's the individual voltage of each of these cells. And you want to make sure that you have those sense leads in order of the batteries as they are seen in the pack. If you don't have that wiring correct in your sense lead before you hook it onto the BMS, you're going to burn your BMS. So make sure that you get that right. After I check that sense cable, what I'm going to do is I've already got some two parallel runs of uh, number 12 gauge wire here connected onto the battery post connection port on the inverter. I'm going to get an extension cord and connect onto my AC in, which is this one. I gotta tell ya, I'm I'm nervous here. Um, I'm ready to plug this sense gate lead in, but I'm intrepid about doing it. Uh, so I've double checked everything, and uh, well, here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, I don't see any smoke. That's a good sign. So we'll check from the main positive to the main negative. 26.37 volts. But I think over here, yeah, we've got nothing. They didn't really say anything in the manual about how to uh, turn this on. So I'm pretty sure that this Bluetooth dongle there's a button on it and I'm pretty sure that's how you turn it on so here we go okay so that does nothing nothing audible or visual I thought it would beep or the it's on I got voltage coming off the out lead now. Well, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> maybe I, may, okay, I'm gonna turn the inverter on just for like four, four, five, six, maybe 15 seconds, 
just to confirm that I get power on the uh, inverter. No, I should get the app and check the settings in the BMS first. So let's, let me do that. Here we are in the app. State of charge shows 50%. Uh, can I make this bigger? Yes, I can. I wonder, is this settings? Okay. So. So I took a moment and I went through all the settings in the BMS. And then I went through all the settings in the inverter. I made sure that everything was set to my satisfaction so that I felt confident before turning the unit on. You can never be too safe. Safety glasses, fire protection. Dog helper. <laughs> oh yes, there you go. Oh yeah, who's a good boy? Yeah. You're gonna watch? You're gonna be on fire watch? Okay. I'm so excited. All right. Oh, we got Jimmy Jam. That's great. Battery 26.4 volts. And it's just getting itself ready to uh, output voltage. And there it goes. I've got all the settings in the inverter correct. I'm happy with them. Um, I've got currently a delta V or voltage differential of only two millivolts. That's really good. And there's the battery uh, voltages uh, all showing off of the BMS. So let's go to this view and I'm going to plug the inverter in now to the house and start the process of charging. I set the charge voltage at uh, 10 amps. Here's the moment of truth. The inverter must be beeping to indicate it sees utility power. If I hear a click, it's still zero kilowatts. My differential voltage now is increasing. Oh, here we go. Positive 0.2 kilowatts. Putting power into the battery. Everything seems to be working. I'm surprised the fan hasn't turned on. I went into the parameters inside the inverter. I was able to change the charge profile settings. So they were putting like, I set the maximum at 30 amps. So it looks like uh, it's moving between like 28, I've seen it go up to 35 and uh, just jamming a ton of power into the battery. So this is great. It's coming along really nice. I'm super happy. Everything seems to be working. Everything's going well. I'm a happy guy.